Hey everyone, I'm super excited to announce a new feature that we've released that makes it easy to personalize your website and increase your conversions uh, without having to ask IT for help or knowing anything about code. So here's how code-free personalization works with Digio. The first step is to use an embedded inline form and position it on your web page. Previously, you had to know a bit about jQuery selectors to do this, and it was a bit technical, but now with our new jQuery selector generator feature, you don't need to know anything about jQuery, and you just have to click and select, and Digio will do the rest of it for you. And the second step is to customize your forms. So for example, if you want to add a button in your nav bar, you could add a button into your form and then position it wherever you want with the jQuery selector feature. And, but you can also add text, images, HTML, dynamic content, and more. So you can make your forms look like anything. And then the third step is to target your forms using a targeting conditions. And these can be based on visitor attributes, such as personas, or behavior such as uh, pages visited or referral source. So I'm going to show you a quick example of how this works to show you how easy it is to insert a footer form without having to do anything technical. So I've already created a form and there's some text in white, which is why you can't see it here. The widget type has to be inline widget, so I'm going to select that. And we're going to position using it jQuery selector, but you don't need to know anything about jQuery. And in order to figure out exactly where to position it, um, we have to open up the web page, which in this case is our demo site. And we're going to add a URL parameter, Lightbox jQuery selector generator, and reload the page. And then you can click on any element on the page and it'll give you the jQuery selector information that you can just copy and paste. So for example, if you wanted to insert your form next to the the logo, you could click here and you'd have to copy this and paste it into jQuery selector. Um, we want to insert it into the footer, so we would copy, we'd go down to the footer, there we go, copy this, the footer div, and we would paste it in here. If you don't want to do that, there's an even easier way to do it. Um, you can just click on need selector help and that will allow you to see what the widget will look like before actually committing to publishing it. So for example, you can click here in the footer and that's what it would look like. And that's what we're gonna go for actually. So you can just copy and paste um, this and put it in the jQuery selector field and then publish and go live. Or if you'd like to insert it, try inserting it um, here in the sidebar, you can just click here and you would copy this. But we're going to insert it in the footer, so let's copy this and I'll show you how it works. Copy, paste, publish, and now we're going to reload the page and you'll see that the widget is positioned in the footer right here. So that worked really well and that's an easy example of how quickly you can position a form anywhere without knowing anything about jQuery. Um, this, another example was targeting, how you can use this feature to target your forms based on page content or category tags like WordPress category tags. So in this demo, I'm going to show you, we're going to ins insert an out of stock notification form where people can submit their email to get an alert when a product is back in stock. And the way we're going to target this is based on the words out of stock within the element that we're, um, the positioning element. So here, this is the form we're going to use. It's just a form, simple form. And we're going to go to widget, again, select inline, and we're going to select jQuery selector. And here's where we're going to figure out what the actual jQuery selector is. So we're going to find the page where we want to insert that widget. We're going to go to the store. We're going to find a product that's out of stock. And then we're going to add in the URL parameter, reload, and click here. Yeah, that's exactly where we want to add it right next to the out of, actually right under the out of stock message. 
So we're going to copy this top line because this is actually the positioning information. And then the second line actually is used for targeting. So you can, if you go all the way to the end here, you can see that it says contains out of stock. So you can use this to display your form only when these, uh, when this element, this element here contains the words out of stock. So it won't, if it doesn't say out of stock, it won't display it. So that's exactly what we want. So first we're going to copy the positioning information here and paste it in here. And then we're going to save that. We would copy the targeting information so that it only displays when it says out of stock. Now you paste the targeting information into the conditions editor and you use the HTML exists jQuery condition and you paste it in right here. And you can see at the end it says contains out of stock. So then we save this. And that's it. And then we can go publish it and reload it on the page and it should only display on the pages where there's an out of stock message. Okay, so now we go back to the page and we can see that we've uh, placed this um, notification widget. And it's only on the products that are out of stock because we uh, targeted for that. Um, another use case for this uh, targeting feature is targeting by uh, WordPress categories. For example, phone case category, you could have a, a widget display only on um, products that are in the phone case category. Or you could also use it for if you have uh, certain products in the shop in your shopping cart when you're checking out. For example, if you have a spe specific message about a certain product or a special discount on a product, you could make it appear just when that product is in the shopping cart. So it's a very versatile feature. Another example of something that you can do easily with the jQuery selector feature is add um, a button in your nav bar. So in this case, I added this envelope button in the nav bar right next to the cart. And you can click on this and it'll show a pop-up light box where somebody can um, enter their email for a discount. And this is really easy to do with the jQuery selector feature. Previously, it was very hard to find um, the exact positioning information uh, without the help of this feature. One more example is you can personalize homepage images or text. So if you, for example, use cookie values to store customer persona data, like um, if a person is interested in high fashion or outdoorsy clothes, and you can display a relevant image to each visitor when they arrive. You can also uh, display targeted images or text to visitors depending on their geolocation, their traffic source, URLs, UTM parameters, and more. So two examples here are if you have a visitor who's interested in wooden toys, you can show them um, this very simple homepage with a picture of a wooden toy. <laughs> or if you have someone who's interested in plush toys, you can display an image of a plush toy. And this can be done using dynamic elements um, in, within the embedded form. If you'd like to know anything more about our jQuery selector feature or any of our features, please come over to digio.com and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thanks.